I am going to our uofa.edu website. This is our link to our homepage. You would, if you were a county person, you would actually go to county offices, find your county page. You would scroll down to the very bottom of your page. At the very bottom, you see the copyright and the symbol that's in 2016. I'm going to select the little C, the symbol between copyright and 2016. When I select that, I have a page that says, where are you from? I am with the University of Arkansas Cooperative Extension Service. I'm going to select this image. Now I'm asked to enter my username as well as my Active Directory password. Okay, this is the page that I was on when I was when I logged into the system. This is really not where I want to do my edits and show you how to uh, do some things today. So Stephen has graciously created a test website for us, and I am going to go to that website. I'm going to go to content and pages. Really quickly, Beverly, um, you were able to log into the main page because you are an administrator, but right. please know that all the rest of you are level seven, and you will get, if you try to log into that main page, you'll get a little error message that says you do not have permission, and it's going to seem like you can't log in, but you really can. You just have to use what she's doing up there where it says content. You would, you're still logged into the system. You would hover over content and navigate to your page that way. It just won't let you edit that main page because those main pages are locked down. That's why we recommend that you go to your county page or to your program area page and log in from there. All right, Stephen created a training folder for us. I'm going to select underscore training and I'm going to select basic website training. Across the top of the screen, you will notice the menu bar has several options. There is a dashboard. If I select overview, this will allow me to see the things that I'm either working on or I have checked out or something may be waiting for my approval. Yesterday, I was working in the training site test uh, document that Stephen created for us, and I still have it locked. As you can see, it's locked because it tells me that it was locked from yesterday. And also, the little bug is highlighted. I'm going to unselect that. Now I have no pages checked out. When I go back to the navigation bar, each time I select a different option, you will notice there are different lists in the dropdown. Again, what you see in the dropdown would depend on what level you are. As Amy just told you, most people are sevens. I am an administrator, I'm a level 10, so I will see more options than you will actually see. If I wanted to see all the files that were in a folder, I would go to the very far left under dashboard, select the little yellow folder. When I select the yellow folder, I am now shown all of the files that are in our OU directory. If I select 4-H Youth, I'm selecting the arrow that is pointing to the right. There is another list of folders that belong to 4-H Youth. Each time I select the arrow that is pointing to the right, that tells me that that folder has another list of files listed. And I can continue to go down and look at all of the files that are in 4-H only now. If I wanted to close this, I would just select the down arrow key, and now it minimizes all of that. If I wasn't interested in seeing all of this and I wanted my entire screen, I would just select the little arrow key at the top, and it removes it. I'm going to go back to my navigation. I'm going to select underscore training. I'm going to select basic website training. Stephen actually created like 20 folders, a folder for me, and then 20 more folders when we actually had hands-on uh, training. So each person would have their own folder to work in. I'm going to select my folder. And in my folder, I have some files. I want to work on the document that is Classwork uh, 1 PCF. 
Okay, this is the folder or this is the page that I want to do some editing on. So I'm going to close this because I want the entire page uh, to work in. Once I open my page, I can see across the top again, I have another navigation bar below the, the dashboard and content and reports. I have one that says preview, which is exactly what it says. It will allow me to preview this page as it is. My edit is already defaulted for me, so this will allow me to go into the page where it says edit main content area. I can scroll down. I have two more edit buttons. If I wanted to edit anything under publication, I would need to select this green button. If I wanted to uh, edit anything under other media, I would select that green edit button. I have a source button as well as properties. Now, depending on what level you are, you, you will probably see submit and not publish because your page after you submit it has to be approved, if not by your staff chair, but if by someone in your office. I want to select edit main content area. I'm going to make a change to the title page. Once I selected edit main content, you will notice across the top of the screen, I have a lot of icons and we are familiar with a lot of these little icons on this toolbar. This is called our WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. There is a save button. There is a cut button, find and replace, our bold, our italics, underscore, underline button. We are familiar with a lot of these options that are already here. They have been condensed and put in one place for us. 